is not in our mind. All positive things, all this is full of goodness. God is going to walk in the mind, and God is going to walk in the heart, and, 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 and then the word of God is, you have to walk it out. God is going to walk in the heart, God is going to walk in our mind, to walk it out. As, as, we, as we go on reading this, meditating this word of God, the word of God has to go in the mind and go in the heart, and that word has to come to reality in our lives. So when the word is with the faith, it has to come to the reality in our life. You know, not, not only that, when it's speaking in tongues, you know, it is part of God generating inside you. It's activated inside you, and it's, it's a time for you to explode them afterwards. This is called it is, it was work energizing us. The work and energy is really important. It's power is energizing us to achieve something. The God says it is. The other God says it. And He's able to do abundantly, excellently, above all. And He ask. He said, always ask right thing. I'm going to think. I will think the uh, righteous thing. Think of uh, think what is the ne- what is necessary for you. Don't think the fleshy thing. Don't think of uh, oh, what I should do with my neighbor. Oh, my my neighbor is always fighting. Oh my my classmate is always fighting. My my colleague is always fighting. Don't think over all these negative things. This is not the profitable for us. How is this? Don't use all these things. How is this? Just thinking about things above. Where 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 Jesus Christ is seated. No, you know you know this. It was the finished work of Jesus Christ. The finish and it is finished. They became a king that day. Because from that day onwards, he died and he rose again. When he rose again, we can see it right now at the at the at the right end of the Almighty Father. And the word of God says, the father, the father told, told the son, sit at my right hand, till I make enemies at your foot. You have to rest, you have, you have to rest in God's will. Till all the enemies is coming under your feet. All the enemies is coming under your feet. In fact, the apostle Paul says uh, in the book of Colossians, they striving. According, uh, according to his walking, which work might be in us. According to his walking. The person Paul says uh, it's about his walking, which works mightily in us. It is God who is walking mightily in us. It is not our power, it is not our strength. It is God walking mightily in us. You know, you know uh, 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 let me give you a more better example. You know, the, the food you eat, the food you eat which goes inside, shows how you become outside. If you eat junky food, just go and eat the junky food for a month, you'll come to know what will happen outside. Everybody, every person will come to know what is happening to you. If you eat the healthy food, if you eat fruits, if you drink liquor, if you eat very healthy food, you know, on the outside of the you will look healthy. But what is what happening inside you? What does it look outside? There is always a time for people to see outside. Uh, you know, let, let, let me give you a much better example. There, there are some people who eat, who eat tamaku and many things. You know, what they take in, it's something one day everybody will see out. One day they are stuck with some disease or something, I don't know, I don't know how the disease they are stuck in. But these things, you know, when people consume wrong things, the, the, the wrong things are being worked out. It's upon, depending upon what you eat, it's what you come out. So it's, all, it's all similar to our life. But God is working in us, we need to work it out. We need to work it out, but God is working in us. God is working in us, this will. The will, what our boss is, let, let your will be, let our opponents of our is in heaven. The spirit which is in heaven is walking in us. We have to just walk it out. We have to walk it out. The Bible, the Bible says, walk for salvation with fear and trembling. It says, it never says walk for salvation. It says walk out for salvation. That's why the word is given, therefore. You know, let me explain why the word therefore is given. We have to look what is before, therefore. If, if you feel that uh, these people are doing something wrong, they say, I was just poor, 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 that's because of what Jesus done for, has done for us. That's because of the humbleness of Jesus. That's because of the openness of Jesus. The word of God. That's because of what Jesus did for us. We have to walk our salvation. Because it's God only who is walking in us. It's God only who is walking in us. It's what, because of what Jesus did. We have to walk it out. But just because then Jesus is walking in us. Okay, let me make it more clear. It, it, it is just because of what Jesus did. We have to walk it out. Just because he is walking inside. It is that he has walked for us. And even he is walking inside and he will always walk for us forever. You know, he, he is the one who is working for us. You know, the Apostle Paul says that in, in, in the same context. That you have, you are that as you have obeyed me much in my absence. Let's imagine these people are so careful people. That they have been obeyed when the Apostle Paul was not there. I'll give you an example. You know, whenever a teacher, a teacher is there in the class, you always are very silent. 
But when a teacher goes out, we make all my nakara, we all know we throw jokes and everything. We are gonna a lot of all this fun in a school time and college time. But when the teacher is there in front of us, we won't do all these things. But we know what will happen if we do all these things. No, but you know, but uh, that was the first is then you think, if, 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 even in my absence, you have, you have been obedient people. Even in the absence, you have been obedient people. No, let, let, let me give a much better example from the same story. Imagine a teacher is going out, and, and, and the teacher comes in and, and sees the class is silent. The teacher will be so happy. The teacher, the teacher won't say, Are you, 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 I'll give an example. If, 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 if a boss gives you a task and he says, I, uh, I, I'm going out for some days in 15 days, I, I'll, I'll come back. And, and, and the boss says that you have been really very obedient guy. You have been really very faithful. When the boss is always faithful, like that, uh, that even in my absence, when I don't know that this guy is very faithful, the boss won't come in there for him. And if you do something wrong, I'll punish you, I'll remove you. No. But by, because the boss was even in bed, I was not there. He worked so faithfully. Similarly, it's similarly the Apostle Paul when he, when he was telling the church that you have obeyed me even in my absence. When, he, when, when, when the Apostle Paul knows that the church is always obedient church, why does the Apostle Paul even think that they are going to lose their salvation? He won't even think that they are going to lose their salvation. Because the word of God is the work out of salvation. It never says work for a salvation. This is the work out of salvation with fear and trembling. How will you see people of God? Your salvation cannot be lost people of God. Because you are in God's hand. You are in God's hand. See, you are in Jesus and the hand of God is upon you. And no one can snatch you out of the forest. You are, you are under the protection of God. Nobody can take you out of God's will. Nobody can take you out of God's pleasure. It's God's pleasure which is working inside you. It's God's will which is working inside you. You know, the word of God says in the book of uh, Philippians, uh, chapter, chapter 3, verse uh, uh, 7, it says that uh, it, it, is, it is by the grace of God, uh, not only the grace of God, but it is by the gift of the grace of God, which is given to me by which the work is it, working in me. By which the, 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 work, the God's power is working in us. Just because the gift of grace. But when the gift of grace is given and there's a positive response of faith, you know, every miracle shall happen. Just by the gift of grace, the power shall operate inside you. Just by the gift of grace given to you, you know, the power is already present inside you and it's always energizing you. We're always working towards you. We're always working towards your good, towards your goodness and towards everything for you. It's working for you, it's working with you, it's working to you. It's working inside you, it's working with you. This is a generation. The God is going, God is working in you. God is working with you. God is working through you. God is working for you. It's for what everything for God is it's not about what you are doing. What you can do or what you cannot do. It's for what God can do. And then there's nothing impossible. Which war that ball ball can solve. Nothing in the ball 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 can solve. Everything in the ball can ball can solve. Everything, everything.